Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What is this? Oh, this is the cyclone shock you asked me to bring? I'm not sure why you're asking me what it is because you literally just asked me to bring it. This is a six-shot revolver pistol, right? These are supposed to be our big chungus stars, and, and the, it's not big chungus enough. I want you to make it bigger chungus. Oh no, supervisor, not again. We literally just dealt with the judge, and you immediately canned the entire line after you released it because nobody liked it except for you. I don't care what happened last time. I want this to be bigger chungus. Do it in five seconds or you're fired. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this job. You guys thought I was kidding, didn't you? No, this is literally a cyclone shock, but it is the size of a primary. And come on, it was really funny when the cyclone shock first came out and people were like, oh my goodness, it's literally just a big strong arm. Uh, dude, damn. But that's not my favorite comparison. My favorite comparison is this one. <laughs> Same blaster functionally, Five times bigger. And of course I would have to review this thing at some point because this blaster represents everything that I like about this hobby. And uh, move out of the way, Cyclone Shock. Move out of the way, Strong Arm. We need some room. So the Nerf Mega XL Boom Dozer. Yeah, like, even the name is so violent. This blaster was introducing yet another ammo type out of Nerf. This one being the Mega XL Dart. Yeah, this wasn't just Mega Darts, this is a new type of dart. And you guys are probably thinking, Well, Mega Darts are already really big, how could they possibly make them even bigger? What are they gonna do, double the size of them? Yes. Yes, they are. Don't believe me? Here is a Mega Dart. <laughs> These are ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, there's a point where it just becomes absurd how big the ammo is, and these darts are gigantic, but that doesn't mean they're made badly. The Mega XL darts are actually really thick made of foam, like this really thick foam, so they're super durable and dense. The tips are also made slightly differently than normal Mega darts because they kind of have this flat tip, which causes them to fly semi-straight. Definitely not AccuStrike, but straighter than most other types of Nerf darts. But with all that said, if we move the ammo out of the way, let's get started with the Boomdozer going over the design. This thing literally looks like if you turn a monster truck into a Nerf blaster. It looks like cement, while the whole logo is just like punching aggressively through the plastic on both sides. They didn't paint the Nerf logo or Boomdozer on both sides, but the elephant in the room is exemplified on both sides. And I gotta say, the details here are really good. I mean, this isn't, this isn't for everybody. I mean, this looks hideous. It literally looks like the blaster is falling apart and it doesn't want to be put together. Like it's made of cement or something, especially because like the whole blaster is, has these cracks on it. Like here, here, even on the front of the muzzle, like they definitely made an effort of showing you that this thing is like cement based. I personally love this design just because of how cool and original it is. The fact they didn't do anything like this before, but I can definitely confirm that it's not for everybody. Not everybody he's gonna like this design like I do. Let's talk about the ergonomics, cause it's like, it looks really dumb. It looks like this is gonna be super uncomfortable. Uh, this grip is awesome. It really is. These kind of design groove things in the back actually give a really nice handhold and don't dig into your hands much at all. Plus these sort of rounded finger choils in the front are very nice and just happen to conform to the shape of my hand perfectly. It's not gonna be for everybody, but it definitely works for me. The trigger pull ugh, has a plastic spring, but it does feel pretty good. And the trigger itself is very nice and smooth on your fingers, even though it's really greasy for some reason on the side. The foregrip, humongous, absolutely wonderful to hold on to this. It feels great putting your hand on this thing and the prime action is really smooth. Like, really, really smooth. And it sounds like it's barely going to hit end strike performance. Legitimately. It sounds a little bit less silly in real life, but it, it definitely doesn't sound very powerful. Uh, that's going to change in the firing demo, but we'll get to that later. Here's a detail that I don't understand why not very many people talk about. Wait. Wait. I seriously think this is the first Nerf Mega Blaster that has an end strike stock attachment point. And even though no stock actually fit this fits this, um, oh yeah, you can make it even bigger than it already is. So the way this blaster works is pretty simple. You prime it, you fire it, or it has slam fire. 
Throughout my testing procedure, I did have some problems with the slam fire not causing the cylinder to advance, although that does seem to have gotten better over time and over extended usage. So with that said, let's get on to the firing test. This is probably gonna be the first firing demo where I actually have a cut in the middle so that I can go reload the blaster to show you slam fire. Well, that worked well. Now, for slam fire. That's what I'm talking about. Only one went in. So, the Mega XL Boom Dozer. What? A blaster. Seriously, what a blaster. This thing has to be seen to be believed. It is huge and it is ridiculous and it's really, really fun. And surprisingly, I could actually see this having a use in a Nerf War if you're going to overvalue Mega XL darts. This one has a pretty good capacity for Mega XL that is really hard to get anywhere else. I mean, you do have to understand though, this thing is absolutely massive, even on a side profile, goodness gracious. But I also understand that this isn't for everybody, especially considering that it is a $40 blaster. It is a pretty big investment. Although if you do want to pick one of these up, I will link one in the description below. So with that said, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you do, like if you enjoyed, comment down below. What do you think of the Mega XL Boom Dozer or the other Mega XL blasters or any blaster you'd like me to review in the future? So that said, I guess I will see you guys all next time. Uh, I, I hope you like this video. Bye.